So welcome back to this lesson on installing Oracle HTTP server. I'll give a quick brief on what we covered in the previous lesson or previous few lessons. What you need to understand is installation on. This is what we covered saying first you decide what kind of domain you want for Oracle HTTP server. Then if required, you may have to install optionally Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure and you install the database and you install the schema using repository creation utility. If you want a standalone domain, you can skip all these three points and come straight to installing Oracle HTTP server. So what do you do? You go and start the installer. Again, the software will already be available on the membership portal. If you want to download for your own practice, we'll give you instructions on from e-delivery how you can download 12C software. So if you're part of Oracle Fusion middleware training or Oracle Access Manager training, you will get instructions on how to download this 12C software. Uh, on the on activity guide or for if you're doing practice on our servers you don't need and it's already there for you so you go onto the folder and you say it's a bin which is a binary and you can directly execute that there's no java nothing required you simply execute it when you execute it it says where do you want to install oracle um http server what is the oracle home again as i said earlier oracle home definition has changed in 12c in 11G, Oracle Home was inside the middleware home. In 12C, that Oracle Home or middleware home is being replaced by the Oracle Home. So now you use Oracle Home to the same thing that used to or to the middleware home in 11G. I know it might be confusing uh, for those who are not coming from um, 11G background. If you are not coming from 11G background, you're coming directly to 12C, forget about middleware home. The, Oracle Home is the top level directory in which you have all the middleware products like Oracle HTTP server, SOA, OBI, Web Center, Identity and Access Management, OAM, and so on. So if you're doing it in a co-located mode, then make sure this Oracle HTTP server should be installed in the same Oracle Home in which you've installed Oracle Fusion Middleware Infrastructure. Very important. Let me repeat one more time. If you want Oracle HTTP server in a co-located mode, then make sure this installation should be in the same Oracle home in which you installed Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure in the previous lessons. So you say install and then it's going to give you an option of saying a standalone uh, Oracle HTTP server or co-located HTTP server. And then you're going to get this option only if you have all, uh, all uh, if you have already installed Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure. If you have not installed Oracle Fusion middleware in infrastructure and you're coming installing directly HTTP server, you will not get the second option at the bottom, which is co-located HTTP server. You will just get saying standalone HTTP server. Managed independently of the WebLogic server. Once you come to that, you select depending on what you want, you select that and then hit next. And it is going to install, it will uh, select a few other things like JDK, what JDK you want and check the prerequisite. And then it will install it to say this is what I'm going to do. Look at the log file as well on the left hand side screen. So if anything fails, you know where to look for the log files. What software is going to install? It's going to install Oracle HTTP server. It's also going to install the LDAP client. It will also install WebGate if you look carefully inside left hand side feature sets to install. So it will also install LDAP and the WebGate. You can also save the response file, which means you can whatever options you have selected, you can save that as a response file and you can then later use it in a silent install. So what is silent install? What, because it's prompting you to give these options that's called as interactive install. It's system is, is install asking me to interact, interactively. It's asking me if I want everything not to be prompted anything. I'll put all my options in response file and when I say install, at the time, I'll pass on the response file so that it, it happens silently automatically for me. I'll select the button install and on right hand side, I'll see the installation progress. How much installation? So same thing like any other install, it will prepare first. It will copy the software. It will generate the library file. It will do the relinking. It will do the setup. It will register with the aura inventory and run some post install steps. And then it'll tell you once 100% is done and installation is done. So you'll get a screen like this will say install status all done. So what you need to then do is you need to still have to uh, 
configure the wizard or you need to still run a weblogic domain or configure the domain and after configuring the domain we'll start the node manager and the oracle http server so this is what you have done to install now you still have to configure the domain in which you're going to configure oracle http server whether it's a standalone domain or it's a co-located domain you still have to configure the domain and that's what we are going to see in next lesson but before that let's see what extra you get so when we installed the oracle fusion middleware infrastructure we got these files we got coherence we got oracle common we got web weblogic server when you install oracle http server what do you get you get additional thing you get ohs this is where you have oracle http server software we also called is a call it as a oracle product directory or p prod dir we also called it it as a ohs dir which is ohs folder we also call it as a um, uh, oracle http server by oracle home or not oracle home product directory that's thing sorry oracle home is tail fmw folder then you also get a webgate software webgate is again if you're part of oracle access manager that's when we are going to cover that oracle http webgate we have a dedicated module in oracle access manager training about this or ebs om training so that's where we're going to look at webgate so it's webgate and http server installed only not configured the oracle common wl weblogic server and coherence were received from a fusion middleware infrastructure so this is what you get as a file system now let's head on to the next where we configure oracle http server so this is all about uh, installation of oracle i'll see you in next lesson of configuring oracle http server